I'm pharmacist Rory Blake. I'm trying to fit in one last uh, post before, while I'm, <laughs> before I lose all the daylight. It's been raining today and I haven't gotten but a mile or so in. But anyway, um, I've been asked, what's the difference in aging in humans and the other animals? And there is a big difference. Uh, actually, there are three different triggers of aging. Uh, the first one was um, predicted by Mishnikov in his uh, 1907 book, um, Prolongation of Life. Um, my copy of that book is online. Uh, Google scanned it, and um, you can get it. You can see it on Google. But um, he uh, blamed road back Road, rogue bacteria for aging and uh, that's basically what it is 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 uh, overgrowth of bad bacteria um, I have a patent on this part of it um, that they lost their control um, um, the body doesn't control them anymore so they they uh, um, turn parasitic by uh, basically uh, um, competition for resource. They outcompete us and the rest of the bacteria for, for resources. So um, there's a way to stop it, but it's going to cost a whole lot of money and I don't have it. So um, if we ever get that patent, that'll be out to, to stop them from going rogue. But anyway, the second part of aging is the body's response to that uh, parasitic infection. And um, the body has a standard response to, to parasites. Um, all parasites have uh, certain amino acids in common. In fact, every one of them uses the same amino acid for energy. So what the body does is, is um, stops uh, uh, the absorption of that particular amino acid. Um, it breaks it down in the, in the colon, uses it for energy. Breaks it down earlier in the intestines uh, and it doesn't ever get to the colon. So that's the body's mechanism. Uh, it stops a severe infection, but on the other hand, the body doesn't get benefit of that amino acid either. And you get that typical decline in humans where only humans have this. They, they take things down to the bare bones before they die. I mean, they'll, they'll decline so far, it's almost incredible. But uh, uh, that's a human only type thing. And the, the third way that we have a uh, trigger of aging is the decline of the other bacteria. Um, all mammals have the same number of genes, roughly 25,000 genes. But um, the difference between humans and other animals is that humans pick up a bacteria composition, you know, our microbiome, uh, to become uh, another organ. I mean, basically, the the, uh, the uh, microbiome becomes um, a separate organ that produces things like uh, neurotransmitters and stuff for the human body. And if it weren't for that, we wouldn't be far superior to the rest of the animals. Uh, I think we discussed earlier about the, uh, the, uh, the gut bacteria that are responsible for speech. Um, some birds have those combination of bacteria, but uh, gorillas and other ones don't. Um, chimpanzees, I think they have, chimpanzees have dozens, few dozens, maybe four dozen uh, uh, bacteria and, and they don't really uh, uh, compete with one another until one, one overtakes the rest of them. But humans have up to a thousand, I mean we can have hundreds. And that's the reason that we're able to produce such important uh, changes uh, over other animals. And the reason you start losing facilities and your faculties as you get older because your, your, um, your diversity gets less and less until finally the, um, uh, the, the rogue gut bacteria described by Mish Mishnikov takes over everything and, and, and you, you've lost a ton of function by that time. Um, everybody that's in a nursing home has uh, gotten down to where there's just got one. <laughs> one dominant species, and, and that's, uh, that's the, the reason that uh, they're there. It's not because of the, 
species because they've they've lost all the the minor ones that, that uh, are the other other uh, um, other bacteria. So anyway, that's basically what we got. Um, there's some um, uh, I have a patent on. In fact, a product is out that uh, for the uh, bacterial one, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with uh, with the U.S. Patent Office. They they keep turning it down, but eventually, I think I started that in 20, 2012. So it'll be, uh, be interesting to see what happens uh, if that if that hits the market to reverse the uh, the body's um, uh, blocking of uh, the, the single amino acid. But anyway, I'm getting a lot of traffic now, so I better get moving. So thank you again for listening, and do what you can to. Do what you can to make the patent office make the patent office do the right thing. Thank you so much.